If you're anything like me when it comes to launching things for my online business, whether it's a new product, service, piece of content, I want to be able to launch them fast, quickly, as this allows me to test the market and fail quickly as well. Some of my projects do great and some others don't. Regardless, I still want to be able to validate my product or idea as quickly as possible to see if the market likes it and analyze whether it's worth spending more time and resources on it. This means that I don't want to have to spend 10 hours of my time building a sales page or invest $3,000 on a designer and a developer to build the sales page for me. No, no. Uh, instead, let me show you how to get a landing page up and running in just shy of 10 minutes using Thrive Architect. Perfect. So what you're looking at right now is the back end of my WordPress website. It is a testing environment. It's not a real site, but your site, if you're building your business with WordPress, as you should, is going to look something like this. Now, if I jump over into my pages, you're going to see how quickly and how easily I can create a new page using Thrive Architect. I'm just going to hit on this at new option, at new page option, and we're going to call it landing page in 10 minutes. Let's hit save and let's fire up the page with Thrive Architect. Now, if you've been with us for a while now, you'll know that with Thrive Architect, you've got four different places where you can start designing your pages from. You can either start using one of your theme templates as you know a template for your page to start working from. Uh, you can start with a blank page that includes your, your site's header and footer. This is how I typically start off working on most of my pages, you know, just a blank canvas that does come with my header and footer. You can start from a completely blank page. This is a good option for you if you're building a unique design and you don't want to use one of our templates and you don't need a header or footer, great option. And then of course, you also have the option that we're going to be using today, which is to start off from a pre-built landing page. This um, is great for um, you know, sales pages, landing pages that we've already designed for you and that are going to come across as being super conversion friendly. They've been optimized, all of them, by our team of professional designers here at Thrive who meticulously think about, okay, how, you know, what, what techniques can we use to make sure that the people landing on this page, um, you know, hand over their credit card details to you as quickly as possible. So with that said, let's just browse through some of these templates that we can pick from. I'm going to jump over into legacy landing page designs. And in here, I'm actually going to look for the bonus um, deck template. And in here, this is a, a play, we, to be honest, a little bit of a self-criticism. We can probably, and we will probably work on this this year. Uh, the, this deck of templates is a little bit hidden in my opinion. And some of these are absolutely outstanding. I think that our designers have done an amazing job on some of these. And I want to make sure that, that, that we put them a little bit more closer to your eyes so that you can use them or so that, so that at least you know how to use them um, more easily. And we're going to start off using this fancy divider example 02. Now, why am I choosing this template? Well, let's just assume that we are in the market to sell VR headsets. That's probably not your case. It's not my case either. But this just goes to show how quickly and how easily it is to start off from a pre-designed template um, that we can just customize really quickly with Thrive Architect. Now, uh, again, this particular template has been uh, mocked up as if you were selling VR headsets, but you can quickly change this for something else. In fact, let's try something fun. I'm inside ChatGPT and I'm going to ask ChatGPT, hey, hey, can you generate a 1080 by 1080 image of um, a smartphone over a white background. Let's just assume that, hey, you know, I love the template that Thrive Architect has done for me, but I'm not sure about the, the images. I don't know how to rework these images because I'm obviously not in the market to sell your headsets. How difficult is it to take one of Thrive's, Thrive's templates and make it my own? Well, it's not difficult at all. Okay, this is what ChatGPT generated for us, which is not, it's not bad, but I can foresee that we're going to have some issues with this image because it has some shadows that are going to be a little bit hard to get rid of. So uh, please make sure you're using a fully white background with no shadows. The smartphone should, well, actually, I'm, I don't mind the tilted smartphone. Let's see what it does. All right, that's not bad, but it still gave me some shadows. 
let's just go ahead and try using this, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open Pixelmator and on your end, what you can try doing is opening up either Pixelmator or Photoshop, or perhaps you have a license for Canva or you know some sort of image editing, editing tool. In my case, it's gonna be Pixelmator. And here, I'm gonna create a new document, 1920 by 1080. And let's just drag and drop the image that we just generated with ChatGPT. Perfect. I'm gonna copy that image, open up a new document and paste it in there. Perfect. So now we have the image that ChatGPT generated for us. And what we're gonna do is use Pixelmator's smart editing functions to remove the background of this image. And hopefully, yeah, nah, didn't do a really good job. Let's try doing it again. See if we can get rid of that background. It's still not doing an amazing job. Um, yeah, see these shadows that ChatGPT generates for us are a little bit annoying because it makes it hard for Pixelmator and Photoshop to get rid of the background without eliminating some of this, um, without eliminating a little bit of that smartphone device. So let's try doing something. Let's try grabbing the smartphone itself. I'm gonna copy and paste it again into a new document. And let's try again. Let's see if we can make it a little easier for Pixelmator to get rid of the background. Okay, it did a much better job now. So now I think we can take this image, export it as a, J as a PNG image, and just do a smartphone. All right, and here let's do, jump over into Thrive Architect again, replace this image with the image of our smartphone. And let's see what that looks like. All right, not bad, is it? It looks kind of cool. I think I wanna get the size of the image a little down. Is it a little too big now? Let's just check on the positioning for this image. I think it's a question of making this column a little wider. I mean, a little narrower. And that is starting to look a little cool. Perfect, so let's just say that we wanna sell smartphones and this is going to be our H1 heading. Get this smartphone without paying the money that the fruit company charges for theirs. Get this smartphone without paying the money that the fruit company charges for theirs. We believe that smartphones should, smartphone, oh, I'm missing a T. Smartphones should be intelligent. Um, um, I don't know what to say. Smartphones should be intelligent. They should be uh, easy to carry around, fun to use, and most importantly, Useful. All right, for example, okay. Um, I probably would wanna replace the logo. And here we got a, uh, some columns with a list. I think this is a list of blog posts. We've got a content box. Introducing our brand new smartphone. Our mission behind our new phone. Now, of course, I would probably have ChatGPT generate some more images for me using the, the same phone or something like that. Now, keep in mind, I'm using ChatGPT to generate images because I'm not actually selling a phone. If you're selling a real phone or if you're selling shoes or if you're selling um, microphones or if you're selling whatever you're selling, spend some money. I've said this a million times throughout my videos. Spend a little bit of money, invest a little bit of resources in hiring a good photographer or a good a graphic designer that can illustrate your product in a in a good way because the images are I would say that images are probably like 70% of the factor that are going to either get you a sale or just have people navigate away if your images don't inspire trust you're not going to make the sale so make sure that your images are on point this image is probably not even that great if I were really trying to sell a smartphone okay if you go to apple.com for example they're images, which aren't really images, they're 3D generated mockups look much better than this. But again, I'm using ChatGPT and I'm not even paying for it. It's the free license. So just keep those things in mind, okay? All right, so we've got a functioning, we've got a functioning um, hero section here. 
we can probably, to be honest, get rid of this. If we're talking about a landing page, and let's just say that I'm running ads to this page, I probably don't want to distract people from really buying my phone. And a header with a menu that has different menu items might do that. They may distract people from purchasing my phone because if I'm giving people the option to explore more pages within my site, I'm not really pushing them to do what I really want them to do, which is to buy the phone from me. So for this particular scenario, I think I'm just going to get rid of that, of that header. We've got a, an arrow here that pushes people to scroll down. We've reached our goal by 60% in one year. Let's just say that we've, we've sold 90% um, of our inventory on year one. And I'm Tony Lewis. And I approve this message. All right. The development of our product. Uh, here we could customize all these things. Things we support. These I would imagine are icons. And we can probably change these to, instead of things we support, which I love supporting people out there, but we could do um, top features. And we can probably have like a camera icon. And have here. We are proud to say that we have the best camera any smartphone can offer. Um, shoot professional 16K video in 300 frames per second only with our smartphone. Obviously not true, but it would be cool. All right, what's the time? We've probably been at this for like six, seven minutes, right? Um, here we've got some more sections that we can customize. The core of upgrades are highly requested improvements such as ladder sound. No, 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 no. People love our smartphone, not just because it's cheap, but because it pushes people to spend time doing other things other than look at their screens. I'm not really sure if the messaging makes any sense for this, but let's just assume that it does. Ready to start your journey. I would probably have a video here. I mean, if you're, I mean, there's a really cool company out there called Nothing. They, it's very famous today at this point where they're really trying to compete against Apple and building a phone. Not really sure why I'm talking about nothing phony on this video, but essentially one of the things that I, they, they do really well is uh, put themselves out there when it comes to criticize their own products and compare it to other competitor products. And that is something that I'll probably do here. I mean, if you're thinking about selling like microphones, a really cool marketing angle that I'm seeing more and more often is, and this is not just true for small entrepreneurs and small businesses, but you know, mid to big size companies like nothing, I mean, nothing is a pretty big company today already, is put themselves out there and have the founders or their CEOs come out and say, you know, uh, I'm gonna compare my phone that I've just built against the iPhone and let's just see what camera is better. And let's just compare the quality of the pictures and videos that, that both cameras do. Um, when keeping in mind the price tag as well. Because of course, I mean, nothing, the nothing phone I think goes for like 400 bucks. And when you compare it to your product, like a $1,400 iPhone, I mean, is the difference really worth the massive gap in price and the price difference? Maybe not, depends on who you are, right? But um, yeah, this is how easy it is with Thrive Architect to, to just build your sales page quickly and test it out. And of course, this one's actually rather short. You could technically speaking, continue to expand on it. For example, I find, if I'm not mistaken, I find that we may be lacking some testimonials and we can just drag and drop, uh, drop a block towards the bottom, look for a testimonials block and use it. So here we could have then for the sake of having some fun, let's just call this gentleman Tim Cook. I've tried Tony's phone and it's without a doubt the best phone ever. The camera rocks, it's affordable, 
I don't have to sell my kidney to get it all around a good deal. And boom. And this is now a page now. I mean, we could, we could probably have some more. I would probably have three or four, especially if you're, if nobody really knows your brand or your product or service, you probably want to not be shy when it comes to using testimonials, okay? But yeah, how's that for a 10 minute, 10 minute spent building a sales page? I would say it's pretty, pretty nice. And let's just see it in action. If I hit refresh, we've got some fancy animations going on there with the image, the arrow, pushing people, prompting people to scroll down. Not bad. I probably want to make this Clinton Mox a little taller. This is not bad. And I probably want some more space here. Let's fix those things. And why not? Let's actually make this a smooth animation and have people scroll down here to the section where we talk about the product. Oops, let's do add link to image, smooth animation, select target, and let's bring it here to top features. Add jump link, perfect. We wanna add in some more breathing room in between this section and the testimonials block. Let's do perhaps um, you know, like 120 pixels. Yeah, that's fine. And again, I would probably have more of these. Let's do 120 and let's duplicate this one, one more. Not bad, not bad. I would probably just spend a little bit of more time, uh, you know, adding a pricing table and make sure that I have call to actions throughout the page, prompting people to actually buy my product from me, right? Otherwise I'm just wasting time. To be honest, one of the most powerful things that Thrive Suite has to offer is how quickly you can get things done, whether it's building a landing page as you've seen, or selling your online courses. I mean, we've designed everything to make it easy for you to both succeed and fail quickly. And look, not every single one of your ideas is going to retire you. In fact, most of them won't. Uh, and you know, that is what's so cool and unique about being able to leverage a single suite of tools uh, that allows you to test your product out in the market quickly because it lets you come to, the, to that realization soon without having to commit a lot of time or resources on your ideas. And with that said, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen today, please be sure to drop them down in the comment section below. And hey, this is your channel for all things WordPress, web design and development, online business. So if any of these topics speak to you, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Appreciate your time and I'll catch you soon. Thanks again. Bye.